we practice until now. So we did this going up, our heels are close, right? The first one. And when you are coming down, you are sitting, right? Try to keep your heels as close as you can. Okay? So inhale up and sitting and going into the squat and bring your knees back, opening the hip. Okay? Now the second one what we practice is your one leg is out, right leg is bent, left leg is out, you inhale here, right arm up and you are reaching with the right arm to the left. Okay? And either you can do look up chin up and see if you can bring nice engaging the neck movement also here. The same we'll be doing to the other side. The left leg is pulled, right leg is out, resting on the ground, toes towards the sky. Now here we are inhaling up with the left hand, engage. And when you are exhaling, you are coming and reaching the right leg. So left hand to the right leg. And then you look up, chin up. So when you look up, chin up, you are engaging deeper levels of the muscles. So look up, chin up, feel it. So this is the second one. Okay? Release the pose. So this is the second one. What is the third one we did? Third one is holding up. Perfect. So you bring your both legs together. You bring your right leg over the left knee. You bring your knee close to your abdomen. Hug your knee. Press your knee into the abdomen. Now you bring your right arm behind and give yourself a nice tall movement here. Okay? Support your back. We don't want anything in the discomfort. We want the body in a proper, perfect, energy-filled, anatomical position. Inhale here with the left hand. Open up, engage from the hip muscles all the way. And when you exhale, you bring your left arm in the between the chest and the knee and grab your ankle. Look back, chin back. Look over the shoulder. Five breaths here maybe, if you want to go deeper and deeper and deeper, in and out, inhale and exhale, and release your pose. Then we did, right leg straight, left leg came over the right, okay, you squeeze into your abdomen, hug it, see if your chin can touch your knee, okay, now bring your left, as left knee is bent here, your left hand is going behind. Look up. Now inhale. Right arm comes up. And exhale. When you are exhaling, your uh, arm is going in between the knee as well as chest. So your, your elbow is in between the knee and the chest. Look back. Chin back. Look up. Squeeze, the swinging of your abdomen, squeezing, engaging. Release your pose. And then we did some up and down, in and out. Up and down, up and down, up and down. In and out, in and out, in and out. Do like 15, 20 times, 30 times, whatever is your day look like. Then we do extension, flexion, in towards the ground, inhale, hold, this is your hold, exhale towards your nose, inhale, Alright, so what you do in the bridge pose 
is your lying down on your back okay you can observe me first and then we'll do it together your legs are straight okay and then you bring your right knee close to your hip your right heel close to your hip and your left heel close to your hip okay now see if you can grab your ankle wherever your body allows you or if you can touch your heel that's fine too okay now we will do some variations of the bridge pose so that we can engage the different muscles and the main focus here is our core muscles core means abdomen the stomach area the belly button area okay now here you inhale and slowly bring up lift your he uh, hip off of the ground and see if you can bring your hip higher 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 exhale down now inhale lift go higher 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 along with your breath in now hold your breath here whatever your body allows you and when you exhale slowly come down what have you got it is it your heels do it one more time please inhale lift lift exhale down sir can you watch me first yeah have a seat maybe check it out if it is recording Yes. Is it? So make sure it is on the whole thing is there. Okay? Okay. Now I want you to observe first. I really want you to lift means it's lifting up. Okay? So let's see it one more time. Inhale. Lift and hold. Bring your knees closer. Exhale down. Now there will be a variation. Once you are good here, or maybe after a month or something like that, you add one variation into this one. That will be a little deep and core engaging muscles again. What we are going to do here? You inhale and lift and come up on your toes and see if you can lift a little higher to yourself. Come up on your toes. See if you can engage more and lift more. Lift, lift, hold. And release. Exhale. Let's do it one more time together. So you are inhaling and lifting. Then you are holding, using it, and then you are exhaling down. So you are going up with the inhale. You are holding when you are on the top, and you are exhaling when you are coming down. Follow your own breath. Do it at your own pace. Engage your own muscle. Let's do it all three together. Inhale. Come up on your toes. Engage your muscles. Lift higher, whatever your body allows you. Engage the muscles, your glute muscles. Feel it into your back, feel it into your abdomen. Hold and feel. And exhale the way you went up and higher. 
the slow same way you are coming down and release now take the support of your back take the support of your elbows and slowly get up take the support always support your back before you come into the position okay so the way you are engaging here you are engaging a lot of abdominal muscles and these muscles i need you to stimulate more okay they are going to help us for digestion okay yeah we need to improve the the digestion because we are suffering right the first key the key of health in ayurveda is your agni your digestion and that's the that's the first key of formation of disease in the body okay so the more we can engage and core and open and cleanse and do remove of the toxins on the day to day basis with these kind of practices there will be no accumulation of the toxins in the body does that make sense yeah and that's where we need to work it out and that's where when you are practicing this for yourself you connect there feel it see how much you can engage it to yourself enjoy your own flow create your own flow yeah practice three times five times maybe eleven times if that is what you, is going to make you happy on that day right so acidity formation of acidity acid reflux grd right all the ulcers the irritation in the esophagus inflammation a lot of clients complain about you know they are diagnosed with esophagitis or they are diagnosed with stomach inflammation and all of gastritis and all of that right mm. then the inflammation becomes over the period of time if the inflammation is constant in the body it it ends up into ulcer formation right it goes deeper and deeper on the tissue level in the body and that and then where, uh, when we have that constant inflammation or acidity or this then the openings of our stomach which is the top portion and the bottom portion of the stomach stomach is like a sack okay it's like a bag like a c curve yeah okay then it has a opening in the top and opening in the bottom okay this is a cardiac opening of the stomach is that right that's the first one is a the sphincter is one on the top and on the bottom so this is a the back flow ha starts happening when you have that acidity or constant uh, indigested food in the stomach and that that indigested food or the acidic food op opens up the uh, the the like a natural closing concept doesn't happen and then it remains open that's where the food or the contents from the stomach travels into the esophagus because they lose that uh, texture the uh, the elasticity they becomes loose because the inflammation creates the heat and hot they go in the tea so that's where the back and forth of the acid starts and then it travels to the different areas in the body what you are feeling so the thing is like with this kind of improving the abdominal organs stimulating the, the abdominal organs imp improving the all the pitta related organs like liver uh, gallbladder pancreas spleen uh, stomach the pachakagni these are all related with the pitta organs in your body and pitta is the energy of chemical changes in the body transformations in the body metabolism in the body digestion in the body so this is it's like a factory in the body which helps to transform everything whatever we offer from here it has to be transformed right right we eat see when we are eating the food on a plate what we have, what do we have we have some give me some examples what is there on the plate when we are eating the food vegetables vegetables rice rice something 
protein right so they have different texture right but all that texture becomes one when you keep it on your We have meat, we have vegetables, we have fruits, we have yogurt, we have soups, we have steak. We have all the different textures of the food. Some is soft, some is hard, some is fleshy, some is this, some is smooth, some is soup, liquid foam. But that all becomes one when you put it in your mouth. What happens in the mouth? Start to digest. Start to digest. Start to digest. That's, that's where you connect with your food, with your digestion. If you, my teacher used to say, if you chew your food for 32 times, if you eat your food, he said, not eat. If you drink your food, then you are healthy. Did you get it? That means you need to chew and chew and chew and chew and chew and chew, 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 chew until 32 times because we have 32 teeth here for some reason. So, this food, if we can chew and make it in the liquid form right here, then there is no problem at all in the body. That's the simple logic he used to tell us, but that was hard for us to digest at that age. But now, it makes a lot of sense after seeing these many clients and these many people, the same sufferings and the, the basic problems are very common for us. So this is what I see. Now it's making me a lot of sense when I see this in uh, practice. Yeah. Make sense? Yeah? So, theoretical knowledge is very different. The practical knowledge is very different. So even by chewing the food in a nicer way, by looking at your food, by smelling your food, that all brings that saliva, which is uh, below our tongue, the, uh, the, uh, the salivary gland. They brings out the enzyme. You know, sometimes if you, uh, somebody is cooking and even if we smell, if you're walking around and like, oh my God, what is this food from? They were just cooking something, you know, they're grilling. We can make it out all the list what they are cooking, only by smell and by uh, that uh, smell of the aromas or the spices or the herbs, right? Drooling starts right there. So connect with your food, do it for yourself, chew it when you're all over the period of time. See, you will not see a change in one day. When it becomes a part of your journey, when it becomes your yoke, that a practice on the day-to-day -day basis, then only over the period of time, maybe after three months or six months or after a year, you will start feeling changes even. Like the way you give the time to create all these problems for 10 years or 50 years or 20 years of history, it takes the same time, right? That's what the, the body has taken that much amount of time to create that imbalance in you. You get that? Start somewhere. The more, and now you are, that thing, that imbalance happened because you were not aware. You know, things were happening, I ignored it, sometimes I took some medicine, sometimes I suppressed it, that's how the way we do, right? But now your body is talking to you. Listen to your body and do the best for yourself. Will you remember all of this? Yeah. <laughs> it's always there. Yeah. I think I'm recording now. Okay. The previous one didn't record it, so I have to do it one more time for you guys. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I think somebody might have called it. It's gone. So, it is always on my Ayurveda healing page. Yeah, I get to see my baby says it. Don't worry, I will just uh, like save this and I will send it to you. Okay. And you, sir, you can always go on the Ayurveda Healing Spot page and it's there for you. So you know this this attire, this clothing for was meant for today's session. So you know that. This is for me section. Okay. Any questions? You with me? You have your tea. Okay. I will see you tomorrow. Thank so you. you inside. Okay. Can can you, Dr. Arna, can you show me quickly? I want to make sure I'm touching the right mile. Yeah, go back a little bit. I was watching you. Back. Yeah. Like in here. the middle of the head. Yes, ma'am. Top. Yep. But and there the were two, other right? one is here. Yeah, where's so from this? the nose, go all the way straight, and the first notch, right there. Perfect. Right here. Yeah. So here, and then the top of the cranium. Mm -hmm. Great. Okay. I will okay. see you tomorrow, doctor. What time do you want tomorrow? Tomorrow is Saturday, right? Can I text you? Yeah, you text me. All the things I have. Text I'm fully me. Fully planned to be fine. 
Yes, I'll text, text me. you the Aaliyah's that we both came to blame yeah, yeah, all yeah. the people. Take your time. Yes. I, I have the babysitter in the morning. Perfect. So. You are going to have a wonderful afternoon. Thank enjoy you. Enjoy the rest too. of the day. Drink your tea. Thank you. And enjoy your food. I will. Thank you so much. Yeah. You too. I'm going to make some dal today. Moong dal. Aha. Moong dal. <laughs> Perfect. Nice. Use some celery. Go buy some celery. And put uh, put into your moong dal. Okay. Okay. I have a bok choy. Can I add that? Yes. I have it in my yeah, but celery will work for us for a cleansing. I need that cleansing for me. Mm, okay. okay. So thank you, friends, for watching. This is Aruna Patki, doctor of Ayurvedic medicine. Today's live was meant for to improve your digestion. I hope you can connect with your cells and muscles and your different body organs and systems when you are practicing this. Enjoy it. This is once again Dr. Aruna Patki. Live for Ayurveda Healing Spa from the United States. Thank you.